If you want these anamorphic bars to be animated, like to enter in frame gradually when the B-roll starts and to exit from the frame when the B-roll finishes, you can do that in just a few steps. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, if not just hit the like button. Alright, what do I talk about today? Well, I'd like to answer one question they asked me. How do I change the aspect ratio uh, during the B-roll to make it look even more cinematic? I'm gonna tell you, that's really easy. Why do we do that and how do we do it? Let's say you shoot your video and then you shoot your B-roll or B-rolls. Then you put everything together and of course by default the aspect ratio, the proportion of this side and this side is 16 by 9. But you would like your B-roll to look more cinematic, like in the movies, with like an aspect ratio of 18 by 9. How do we do that? Because if we change the aspect ratio of the video, the entire video would be in 18 by 9. So if that's not what you want, and you want a different aspect ratio, or the illusion of a different aspect ratio during the B-roll that starts when the B-roll starts and finishes when the B-roll finishes. That's really easy then, and you can do that in any software, like on DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, or even with iMovie, you can do that. So, first thing you need is a PNG file. A PNG file, for what? Well, since you can't change the aspect ratio of your B-roll without changing the rest of the, of the video, you just have to give the illusion that the aspect ratio changes to 18 by 9 during the B-roll to make it look more cinematic. Right? Right. How do we do that? You type on Google anamorphic bars or cinematic bars and make sure that the PNG file you find is in the correct resolution. Like if you shoot in 4K, make sure it's suitable for 4K. Or if it's in 1080, in 1080 and so on. Once you have it, save it and save it in your computer in a place, in a folder, and then make sure you remember where exactly, which folder. Otherwise it would take you forever to look for it. Then you open iMovie, let's say you already open it, and you have your video there with your speaking parts and B-rolls. Import your anamorphic bars, cinematic bars, the PNG file in iMovie or Resolve or whatever you're using and place it on top of your clip where you have your B-roll and you can click on it and make it start where the B-roll starts, drag it all the way until the B-roll finishes. Make sure the crop type is set to fit, you're good to go. Now, if you want these anamorphic bars to be animated, like to enter in frame gradually when the B-roll starts and to exit from the frame when the B-roll finishes, you can do that in just a few steps. You click on the anamorphic bars and you select a point where you want the bars completely visible. You go to modify and you go to split clip. Then you go to set the crop and you set it to Cam Burns. And there you have to select the starting and ending point. So you, you want to make sure you select the square there as a starting point and the ending point as big as possible. For the end of your B-rolls, the same process, just the opposite. You cut it at the point where you want your bars to slowly fade away, disappear. Then you set the crop type to Cam Burns. You do the same like before, but all the difference, now the starting point would be the ending point. So just do it reverse. And this is what it looks like. Let me know what you think about it and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear, and check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects for free. Alright, that was easy, right? Right. So, this is what you have to do in a very easy way if you want to give the illusion of a different aspect ratio that changes during your video when you show your B-roll. It's just an illusion, but looks good. If you would like to know how to change completely, for real, the aspect ratio of your movie to look more cinematic, like the entire video to look like a movie, make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Alright, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys.
in the next video.